The U.S. Supreme Court ruled that New York's concealed carry law violates the Constitution. Residents needed proper cause to get a license to carry a concealed handgun in public. Jessica Gway joins us now downtown with how Pennsylvania could be impacted. Jessica. Well, there is some uncertainty right now, but I spoke with Ceasefire PA. They think that Pennsylvania's gun laws are on solid ground and there won't be much of an impact because of the Supreme Court ruling. But a firearms law attorney in the state thinks the opposite. The Supreme Court struck down a New York gun law ruling the requirement to have proper cause to get a license to carry a concealed handgun outside the home is unconstitutional. It's a dangerous decision. Uh, people's lives are going to be impacted and people's lives are going to be lost because of this decision. Um, luckily, it's going to have very little, if any, impact to Pennsylvania's state laws. Questions are swirling around about how other states will be affected. About a half dozen states have similar laws, but other states, including Pennsylvania, have shall issue laws. In PA, a person 21 or older may submit an application for a license to carry to their sheriff, who has 45 days to conduct an investigation and decide if a person is eligible. Josh Fleetman, the Western PA manager of Ceasefire PA, says he doesn't think our concealed carry law will be weakened. We believe very firmly that Pennsylvania's law is on solid ground, even in light of this decision. Attorney Joshua Prince, who concentrates on firearms law, anticipates the ruling will result in several laws being struck down. He said in part he believes there's a question as to whether PA's licensing statute is constitutional to allow it to take 45 days to issue the license. He suspects it will be challenged in the near future. He says forcing a law-abiding citizen to wait 45 days to be able to defend themselves in public seems excessive and seems to violate the Second Amendment. Meanwhile, Fleetman believes more needs to be done to strengthen gun laws, not undermine them. This decision by the Supreme Court is, is totally out of whack with public opinion, so I believe that despite this, we will continue to see pressure placed on state legislators, on Congress, to strengthen our gun laws, because that's what the public wants. Here in PA, when you apply to get a license to carry, sheriffs complete a background check, and they may be able to deny a person if there's reason to believe the person could act in a manner to endanger public safety. Now, Fleetman says he thinks that training should be added as well. Live downtown, Jessica Gway, KDKA News.